Alrighty guys, Shippy12 here with the deck tech from my Path of Battle uh, opening I did. You can see we opened up all these packs here. And out of that I think some of the coolest things we got were the tokens. Well, and the fact that um, all of our rares were in the same color, which is pretty cool. Anyway, I, I mean, within two colors at least. Uh, so I stuck with those two, which were red and green, for a Gruel deck. So I had nine mountains, seven forests, and a temple of abandon. Then for red, I had uh, two coordinated assaults, which are an awesome pump spell that also trigger for heroic, which uh, the only big heroic trigger I really had was Anthusa, or Anthousa, uh, to make lands into creatures. Um, had Rage of Perforos, which is some pretty expensive removal, but it's removal nonetheless, not too bad. Uh, we have a Crowan Crusader, put in a few 1-1s uh, one -ones with haste pretty quick. This is a pretty aggressive deck, especially with this guy right here. Uh, I had three Minotaur Skull Cleavers, which uh, come in as a four damage uh, hasty guy if they don't have any uh, blockers, so that's pretty nice. Uh, Two-Headed Cerebus. Uh, Cerberus, I mean, sorry. Um, Double Shike, I had a few enchantments that could uh, pump him a bit and make him even more powerful. Uh, Rage Blood Shaman, I had to uh, pump the Minotaurs I already had. And give them Trample as well, which is pretty nice. Having a 4 2 Haste and Trample for 3 uh, the turn when it comes in. Uh, I threw in another Minotaur because it's a solid 4 3 body and it fits with the Rage Blood Shaman, which I didn't want to build too much around, but. Um, Still 4-3 body in this uh, set with not much um, of those big bodies like that. It was pretty nice. Uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, I ended up pulling the non-promo version of the promo card as well. So I had two Ember Swallowers. And as a 4-5 for, for 4, that's already an awesome card. As I said, um, not a whole lot of high power stuff in the set. And now moving on to green, we had a Feral Invocation, plus two plus two uh, enchantment with a uh, flash. Pretty nice surprise spell, uh, throw it on a guy if they don't let him through, or if they do let him through, or use it to kill one of their guys. Uh, time to feed, some more removal, also with a little bit of life gain, life gain tied on. Uh, uh, Seder Herdenist fell into our colors and helps us get the big stuff out quicker and uh, get some of the um, monstrosity effects. A Leaf Crown Dryad, again uh, another enchantment uh, or a creature or both depending on how you want to play it. Um, gave plus two plus two in reach in case I had any flyers I was playing against. Uh, Boon Seder, which is an awesome, probably one of the best cards. Uh, just an awesome enchantment to throw on just when they're not expecting it. Uh, another flash, so again, after combat's declared, you just uh, get through and then equip or attach this guy, I guess. Um, and just a lot more power, especially on the th the Cerberus with the double shike. A bit more ramp here. Um, got the Karamitra's Acolyte uh, to add green equal to your devotion to green. Um, Nessian Asp, another one that needed the uh, monstrosity cost on it. Uh, Reach 4 5, which is a pretty solid body, and it's also able to block the flyers with uh, monstrosity 4 for 7. Which an 8 9 is pretty awesome with Reach, especially. Pretty hard to deal with. Uh, then we had Anthousa, um, which gave our, our, turned our lands into uh, two twos, three of them, whenever she is targeted. So that helped me get a few more creatures through, or if I needed some more blockers, I didn't really need land that much since most of my stuff had a bit of ramp, and uh, most of my stuff was pretty cheap. Um, I had a Mistcutter Hydra, which is an awesome hasty guy. Um, comes in with X plus one plus one counters on it, and uh, can't be countered pro blue. Just overall, really sweet card, especially limited. And then to finish it all off, we had two Destructive Revelries. To destroy target artifact or enchantment, and it deals two damage to that permanent's controller for just a red and a green. Obviously, fell into our colors and um, pretty cheap removal because there's a lot of enchantment creatures. Obviously, some very good. Um, 
destroying them as bestow creatures just helps out a ton because it keeps them from ever becoming a creature in the first place and also enchanting that creature. So anyway, I kind of overlooked uh, just because there weren't enchantment creatures before, but in this format it's a very good card. Uh, with two damage to the opponent uh, attached to that as well. So anyway, that was my deck. Uh, I won 2-0 against someone else who also built a deck out of one of these um, paths. Um, they actually also ended up playing red-green, even though they had the um, Path of Ambition, the black one. Anyway, won 2-0, and uh, the second one was pretty close, but did pretty well with uh, these cards. And anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and keep watching for our magic videos.